back with these guys. Let's see. I'm going to throw this guy away now. I think he did a pretty good job. I mean, it's smaller than I would have gone for now that we're... Uh, that's fine. Looks good. Gone. This is staying. That is the perspective we need. Ah, uh, right there. Look at that. Look at that. I know that's in your 3D range. Ah, look at that. Now I need to make a hand and um, a little phone down here. Um, I'm going to try the phone first. This hand's something pretty big, and I, I'd like to do a better job on the uh, the, the, the camera that's going to be up here than the phone that's down here. So we're going to have some earbuds. They're going to pop in blip, blip, and blip, blip, right there and swing around and swing up here and plug into the little phone right there. Phone, I'm just going to go with, you know, basic. Grab a square grid and right, like that. And then, which one? This one. Like that. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's more like a phone you'd be carrying. How you'd be carrying it like that. I guess about like that. Um, much smaller, though. Oh, no. How do you make that smaller? There you go. Way smaller than that. Way smaller than that. Right. All right. Now, in that vein, I'm going to have. So I'm going to make this really easy on us. I'm going to go to white, and then drop this down to. Um, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down to black because I'm going to make the back of this, which is going to be um, one of the paper or duct tape. Let's go with paper. All right, and then snap it to here, and I think I can keep the straight edge on or off. I don't think it matters. But I'm going to drop this down pretty low. And, oh, it does matter if I have the straight edge on. Let's keep that on. Let's raise that radius there. There we go. Pop. I'm going to go one like that, and then the one in the middle here on this side. Now, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily going to make the phone have, oh, you know what? Let's make the phone have depth. Why not? We'll just drop this way down. And draw each edge. There we go. There's one. It's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't need to be. Two. Because sometimes when you're drawing something distant like this, it's not supposed to be the center of the piece. Although I will scale you. Am I turned around again? What's going on? Scale you up a bit, not you. Minus, minus. There you go. You know, back to plus. Now you are going to get bigger. There we go. Bigger. Okay. So it's more of a box there. There we go. All right. And then the one in the front is going to be like that, but silver. And it's like a phone. So I'll just actually copy it. Why not? And change the color. Dropper tool. Make it more of a silver color. Oh. Come on. Okay. There we go. What's going on? All right, something's going on with my computer. I'm going to need to shut this down. I think I need to give it a break. I've been recording a while. Computer warms up I'm capturing like this, and I got to let it cool down. I had a couple thoughts. One, I'm on the right track. <laughs> Two, I looked up what a brainstem actually looks like. It's kind of, it's heavy in here. I didn't really, I don't need it all the way in. That's kind of ramming that brainstem all the way up in there. I'm, I'm going to figure out something to put in here. So I want to make another one. I had the right idea. The slender ones, though, it's not slender cords. It's like four big ones and a base, four big ones. So I'm going to make four ones like that. Um, this time, I want a brush lofted. What's that? Mm, it's not going to do it. Um, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Um, I'm trying to find one that's going to start thin. Oh, now I'm going to turn off the, the thing. It's going to start thin and build up. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. So there is one, and there is another one. Build that up. 
And then there was, there was four of them, I think, or at least that's my translation of it. Wrap that around the same. Uh, I'm going to try that one again. Start down here. Okay. And then one more at the bottom. Start there. Okay. That looks nothing like it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back to take those away. Oh, first I need to, with that same spikes brush that I use for these guys, if I start at the top, work my way straight down, you kind of get this mohawk looking thing. Almost like a, a Birdman costume. Put two eyes right there and right there. And if I do something like this, start at the top again, go down this line, the middle, uh, let's try that again. It's starting to take an interesting shape, almost like a, a lantern, maybe? Which could be an interesting statement toward... Oh, let's try that again. Toward uh, machine and man merging. <laughs> so this this that's going to be my representation. We've got the organic wrapped around what's going to be some sort of a uh, uh, beacon in there. I'm going to replace all these guys and not you. Take you away. Yep. Bye bye. All you are going to be fit in here as the brain stem. And I'm betting in there. Oh, there you go. I'm betting inside this brain stem, I'm gonna use some glass. Just gonna mush it in there a little bit. I want it to like right into there, right into the brain. Right into the brain. How's that look? Not bad. Not bad. Could be a little smaller. Oh. Is that better? Not bad. I mean, it could be interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Oops. Here we go. 